Hey everybody, uh, just first and foremost I want to let you know I have a new video that's out right now. It's called Intunes Review and I talked about the Black Lightning TV show, that season that just wrapped up and I also talked a little bit on uh, Lost in Space uh, that's on Netflix. So definitely go check out that video. Um, let me know in the comment sections down below if you liked it. If you disliked it, you can also push the like button or the dislike button to let me know. And also let me know if I did somebody good on it, what TV show would you like for me to talk about? Now, I don't watch all TV shows. I specifically stay to a certain amount, like The Flash, Arrow, which I haven't really watched that much of, uh, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. But outside of that, I also watch different shows on Netflix. And on regular TV, like Krypton. Um, so let me know if you guys want me to discuss or review some of those uh, on any video. I definitely wouldn't mind. Just let me know in the comment sections down below of that video. Because I need you guys to watch it. And then you can also let me know on this video uh, that you watched it. And yeah. So, if you do not know, on April 27th, 28th, and 29th, uh, at Oaks in Oaks, PA, at the Greater Philadelphia Expo, there will be a Comic Con there, and I'm going to that Comic Con with my family on Saturday, April 28th, 2018. We are so excited, we just can't hide. My daughter, I asked her, I said, "What, what's, what are you most excited about the Comic Con?" She said, "I want to go as a hero." I said, "Well, who's your favorite hero, my mom?" And she said, "Wonder Woman." And so best believe that's what I got her. She's going as Wonder Woman to be as in cosplay. And I'm definitely going to do videos. I, I know I'm going to do videos. There's going to be uh, interviews or I probably won't actually have like an interview. I'm not that big of a YouTuber. But hey, who knows? Maybe they don't mind talking. I, I, I wouldn't mind going there. And it was so amazing is when you go in there, everybody is so chill. You know, everybody is so chill. Like... The, the cast and the Power Rangers were there. And, you know, they, they talked to you, obviously, to get everybody else in line. And they, you know, but we've been there, like, this is our third time going. And so far, they've been there. And they did like, oh, hey, I remember you from last year. Oh, wow. You know, so yeah, everybody's cool. But what's amazing, what's amazing about this year's Comic-Con, which I know I probably would say often a lot, is that this year at this Comic-Con, the actor for Luke Cage, the hit t Netflix TV show, a hit Netflix TV show, Luke Cage will be there. And guess what? I'm going to have or try to get him to sign. The first issue of Luke Cage uh, that came out 2017, I'm definitely trying to get him to sign this issue. This was an amazing story arc, at least the first uh I was the first issue was was amazing, but I, hey, look, this Luke Cage, man, this TV show was amazing on Netflix, and I would definitely love to get this actor to sign this, this, this comic. Also, who's going to be there is the cast of Black Lightning. Now, if you know if I'm going to try to get the actor from Luke Cage to fill the sign, my Luke Cage comic. Then you know I'm definitely going to to get Black Light to sign this one. Bruh. I'm definitely going to try to get him to sign this one. I mean, this shows Black Lightning beating up on a villain. On a villain. This actually was a good comic. Believe it or not, this actually, like, it's only a six issue miniseries. I would definitely pick it up. If you guys don't want to go and get the issues, uh, like, you know, like, uh, issues one through six, uh, you can wait for the day paperback that should be out probably September, October, I would say. Definitely, definitely want to go and pick up the Black Lightning, uh, Cold Dead Hands, because that was amazing. It's like, it came out right before the Black Lightning TV show came on. And I thought, wow, they're, they're going to they're, they're explain to us what's happening in the comic books before the show comes out. And kind of, kind of like that, but not really. Uh, but some amazing comic. 
And if you know if I'm going to try to get Black Lightning to sign it, then you know I got to get Tobias Wells to sign that, sign his issue. This shows him standing over a beaten Black Lightning. I mean, dude, I don't want to start no spark. You know what I mean? Pun intended. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have, try to get these guys to fill out, uh, sign, autograph these amazing comics. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. And even if they don't, I know I can... I always just stand next to him and get a picture, and I'll hold him like, hey, hey that's, that's that guy. <laughs> you right here. You know, I'm definitely going to try to sign it. And if they sign it, that, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Again, I'm going to uh, do uh, Intunes. I don't know what I'm going to title it. Intunes Comic Con. Uh, I might comment it, uh, uh, name it that. Intunes Comic Con. There might be a five, uh, maybe six part. I know I'm going to be filming throughout the whole day, so uh, when I get home, I'm gonna edit them and and when not, and then I'm gonna put them on YouTube, part one, part two, part whatever. Uh, but I definitely, definitely can't wait. Now, what's so amazing is that the Comic Con, uh, you know, you got your cosplayers, you got your actors and actresses. There's there's various different people. Gonna be there. Like I said, uh, like I mentioned before, a handful of the Minor Power Rangers are always there. Uh, at least since I've been there, it's our third time. Going. So they they always up in there. Um, uh, like actors from the Star Wars, the original Star Wars, they be up in there. Um, in different TV shows like Doctor Who. Uh, we had the actress who came, who was on the first Daredevil, uh, the, um, Warhead, I think that's what her name is, that actress, she was there, uh, we also had the voice actor for Goku, he was there, uh, that was last year, I don't know if he'll be here this year, I didn't see it in the, in the solicit, so, I mean, hey, the Comic Con's be popping. Now, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm not going to this year's Where's the Comic Con. Um, but let me know. Let me know. I mean, I, I, I want to do this YouTube thing for real. I want to do these Comic Cons for real. I mean, I'm going. Right? I mean, shoot. If you guys want me to go to the Where's the Comic Con, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll make that possible next year. If you guys want me to go all the way out to San Diego, I mean, that's more like a two year type thing. But let me know. And I'll definitely try to put in plans and put into work to make it possible. If you guys would like me to go to a New York Comic Con, I would definitely love to go to a New York Comic Con. Because I heard the main big Comic Cons is San Diego, Chicago, and New York. Where's the Comic Con is popping too? Don't don't be tripping on Philly. I mean the Eagles just won. So let me know in the comment sections below uh, if you guys would let me uh, would like for me to travel and go to different Comic Cons for next year's uh, uh, Comic Con adventure, and I'll call it the Intune Comic Con adventure part whatever. Uh, but that's the Comic Con. If you guys have ever played this amazing game called Horizon Zero Dawn. You know that I know that there's really not that much information out yet. I mean, at least I, I mean, I've watched YouTubers who also play the game, who talk, who give us the scoop on what's going on. Uh, but as far as that type of more information won't be known until uh, the gaming con. I don't know what it's called, actually, <laughs> off the top of my hand. But, um, uh... I can't wait for the second game to come out, man. Horizon Zero Dawn 2? I don't even know what they're going to call it. It's probably not going to be Horizon Zero Dawn. But I know it's going to be amazing because the way that they ended that storyline. And they gave us a little teaser for the uh, for how further uh, far we can go with it. Boy, I, look, man, let me tell you. Anyway, I went to GameStop. Uh, and I had picked up the Aloy Fungal Pop. I already have Aloy. She, she's already stacked up. I'm not going to move her. But I was also able to pick up Aaron. Now, if y'all if y'all play this game, y'all know who he is. He's a little pedophile. I mean, I feel as though, because, you know, Aloy was like 18 
by the time she became, or she was probably 18, 19, which I guess isn't a power file, but this dude was like in his cougar years in his 30s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He probably was in his 20s, I don't know. But he was a cool bull, and he had Joe Beck. He had Joe Beck. Who also, as I even picked up from GameStop, was the Watcher. Dude, the Watcher. I mean, this little sucker here. If he caught you, he was not only going to warn the other ones to either run or come and attack you. He was going to attack you yourself. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, this boy was a problem. But Aloy is able to take care of it with the, you know, with the arrow thing. So, yeah. So, those take, that's the two fungal pops, or out of the four, that I was able to pick up at GameStop. Now... This movie is coming out May 25th, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Han Solo movie. I definitely can't wait for the Han Solo movie. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know if it's, I don't know the actor, you know, and they got the one actress from the 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 uh, Terminator movie, this and I'm like, look, I'm a movie goer. I go for the movie, and if I think the movie was good, then the movie was good. I don't care about the critics. I don't care about anybody else. No, no, they just talk, 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 talk. If you guys want my opinion for The Last Jedi, let me know in the comment section below. I don't mind answering it. But Harrison Ford from the Indiana movie up to now in the Star Wars movie, I've always been a fan of, of Harrison Ford. Whatever movie, TV show he would star in or appear in, I was all for it. And to see a younger Han Solo, which was one of the baddest, coolest, you know, Star Wars, like like in the galaxy, Gunslinger? Dude, I, man, I can't wait. So I was able to pick up Han Solo. I was able to pick up Han Solo. Who comes with Han Solo for their, for their collection is Chewbacca, uh, Lando Carizian, uh, Korra, uh, Tobias Bucket, Vale. Rio uh, Dorant, Dorant, L337. I was actually going to pick this one up today, too. I might go back and pick it up later. Uh, you got Rage Trooper. You got the Enfys Nest. I don't know how to pronounce that. And you got the Mud Trooper. This is at GameStop, y'all. At GameStop. I started my own little fungal collection. Maybe one day I'll show you guys what I got. I mean, I showed some of you some of the fungals that I picked up. Uh, but I might just show you my little collection of the fungal pops. But who else was able to pick up? Chewbacca! Chewbacca, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking, man, Chewbacca. Now, if we heard, now if you saw the trailer for the Star Wars, then you know the Chewbacca around that time with the younger Han Solo was 190 years. So by the time that we got to... The Last Jedi, Chewbacca, <clears throat> is old, okay? I, and, look, I definitely love Chewbacca, you know. As a matter of fact, last year at the Comic-Con, uh, my daughter, I was in line to, I, I think I was in line to talk to Zordon, the uh, the actor who played Zordon for the Mighty Morph Power Rangers. I was in line to get a picture and a signed autograph. And there was a guy who cosplayed as Chewbacca who, like, it was like a, a Kodiak moment. And my wife didn't take the picture, or she was too slow to get to it. And I was, like, like at awe, like, at shock. The, the guy in the cosplay, as tall as whatever, you know, cosplayers, I give it to you guys. You guys go for real, for real, all in it. He had on... You know, his Chewbacca gear, he was tall. You know, my daughter's already short, but I mean, like, he was tall of his regular height and then tall because he, I guess, had on stilts to be even taller. And it was so amazing because he looked down at her and she looked up at him. And she put her hand out and he put his, his little finger, his, not little, uh, but he put his index finger and pointed it down. And it was like, wow. My wife didn't take the picture in enough time. Then he picked her up, gave her the bear hug or the Chewbacca hug or the Wookiee hug. 
matter of fact, gave her the Wookiee hug, put it down, and I was like, oh my goodness, like Chewbacca just hugged my daughter. That is amazing. And I didn't take a picture. I feel like an idiot. But I'm not going to miss no more moments like that at the Comic-Con. So please don't you miss out any moments like that at the Comic-Con. If you guys have kids and they are 10 and younger, dude, they're getting it for free. You're only paying for yourself and your wife. Why not, right? Alright, well, that'll wrap it up, you guys. I just want to give you an update for the video I just posted on, on up on here on YouTube. I also wanted to show you the fungal pops that I was able to pick up uh, today at GameStop. Um, I actually had to pick up my comic books today as well. Uh, I was out on a business trip for my job, and I literally just got back uh, yesterday, Friday, and I was able to get the comics until today. So, yeah, I got my comics. Um, also going to be on another business trip, so there won't be a Cavs Weekly Pool um, I might do another video for, uh, Intunes, hop in, uh, give you a couple of comic books that I would definitely like for you guys to, you know, check out and read at some time, uh, you know, go to the comic book store, pick it up, or, you know, download on whatever device you have, if you know the websites to do that, um, but great and amazing comics, if I don't do that video, at least we have a video, of me uh, reviewing of Black Lightning and Lost in Space. And they also have this video. A little information. You know. I look out for you guys. Um, but yeah, I won't be doing a Kev's Weekly Pool. And I won't... I If I don't post up another video of Intunes Hop In, I'm sorry. But you got two videos out of me, which I gave you no videos last week other than... To say Black Lightning was amazingly cool and awesome and the way that it ended. I want to know. Spoilers. I'm sorry. But I want to know what's inside that briefcase. And I'm going to try. If I don't get none of these signed, I'm going to ask, what's in that briefcase? Why are you still going to jail? You know, if you watch uh, Luke Cage. But without a further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this up with I've been Kev. You've been you. Can we say it together? Let's stay in tune. All right now.